You want just me to start telling my story? Uh, well, I am born in Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, I am born into a very, very poor family, dysfunctional family. Uh, my dad ended up taking, uh, taking off when I was four years old. Uh, yeah, we didn't have a lot to do inside the house. Uh, I spent my time outside. Well, it wasn't long before I was getting into a good bit of trouble. Uh, probably by the time I was oh, eight, ten years old, I was uh, uh, stealing, uh, lying, pickpocket, uh, breaking and entering, uh, doing a lot of things most people end up in prison for. Twelve, I started working, um, saved my money, bought my first motorcycle when I was 14. Oh, man, if I had a bike, you know, that would, uh, I'd be happy. By the time I went in the Air Force, I was uh, 17 years old. I was pretty much hooked on cigarettes, women, alcohol, porn. Uh, by the time I was 19, been in the Air Force for a couple of years, uh, I was probably the biggest drug dealer on that base, uh, throwing some of the biggest parties on that base. I'd gotten married and divorced within a year. Uh, well, life wasn't going real good. Uh, I had the stuff, but I uh, just wasn't happy. Uh, and then I, I met this guy uh, who was different. Uh, he, uh, when he said something, you could believe it, which I, I wasn't used to that. Uh, he didn't curse, which uh, I had the foulest mouth probably anybody on that base. Um, uh, he asked me to work on his farm uh, for room and board, and at the time that seemed like a you know, pretty good deal to me, and, uh, and so I, I agreed. Uh, then he invited me to go to church with him, him and his family, and uh, he bought me a Bible, the first Bible I'd ever owned. I was probably 20 years old at the time, and uh, so I agreed to go to church with him in that little church in a little town called Vernon, Florida, uh, where, where I started learning about, about this, this other guy, this, uh, this guy from 2,000 years ago, uh, who actually was the son of God, and, uh, and that he loved me, and he loved me so much he died for me. And, well, I, I never, you know, love wasn't even a, it wasn't a word, it wasn't, a, it wasn't anything that came up in my family or my upbringing. I really, I didn't like people. I really didn't care at all for people. And uh, that love was, uh, was something I, I thought I might would like if there was such a thing. And so I learned more about Jesus and, uh, and, and I learned how much he loved me. And uh, when I realized everything that he'd done for me, I, I decided I got to do something for him. And, and what I really needed to do was, was give him my life, give him everything that I got. And that was all I had was was my life, and it wasn't worth much. It, at the very best, I was I was really on a fast track to prison. Uh, at the worst, I, I was probably ended up getting killed and, and just going straight on to hell, which I didn't particularly believe in uh, before I started really learning more about uh, about real life. So finally, one day I, I decided I, I got to do this thing, and uh, and I, I gave my life to him. It was, uh, without a doubt, the, the best thing that, that I've ever done. Uh, and it was then that I learned and felt what real love and peace was. And, and really, I, I, I've known that love and peace ever since. Uh, something I never knew before then. So I, it, it'd be something I'd strongly recommend to anybody that might could use a little love, a little peace in their life uh, to come meet this guy. Uh, who, could, who can help him out with it, uh, you know, and, and his name is Jesus. My name is Shelton Hall, and this is my journey story.